Hey guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how to use if statement, else statement, and if else statement in shell script. Now in this video, we will use uh, those if statements to check for the file test operators. So let's get started. So for example, uh, most of the times when you are writing shell script, you are dealing with the files. And for example, if you want to check whether file exists or not, or if you want to check whether this file is a regular file or it's a block uh, special uh, file or it's a character special file or many other options. If you want to check, you can use uh, these file test operator to check uh, for those, uh, you know, conditions. So let's see how we can uh, use those conditions. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to echo a statement. For example, I will say enter the name of the file. And for, uh, you know, printing the input on the same line, I'm going to use uh, backslash C. And this backslash C is used to keep the cursor, or cursor on the same line after the end of the echo. Now, in order to uh, interpret this backslash C, you need to use the flag minus E here. Now, minus E flag is used to, uh, you know, enable the interpretation of this backslash. So otherwise, if you don't use uh, minus E, it's going to print uh, this backslash C literally. But if you use minus E, with this statement, then it's going to interpret this backslash and then it's going to, uh, you know, keep the cursor on the same line as the echo command line, right? So write this and then we are going to use the read command. So read and then we want to read the file name. So just write file name, for example, and then we are going to use the if statement. So just use if. And then for if statement, what we use, we use uh, the square brackets. And then in the square brackets, we will use a flag. For example, if we want to check whether the file exists or not. So there is a special flag called minus uh, E and then the file name. So the file name is in the file name variable. So after dollar, just use this, right? And then we use then, and then we uh, need to use uh, the echo command, for example. So we will uh, just say, if the file exists, we will print, uh, first of all, the file name. So let's say this is the file name. And then we will just say file found, right? Otherwise, in the else condition, we will just write here in the else condition, else and then we will just say file not found, right? So same line, and then we will say not found, not found, right? And then we will end the line by, end the if statement by fi, okay? So let's run this script and let's see what happens. So I'm going to just uh, run uh, my script and then press enter. And it's ask me enter the name of the file and you can see the cursor is on the same line, which is due to this backslash and minus E flag, right? So I'm going to give the name of the file, which doesn't exist, for example, uh, ABC or some, some random uh, file name, okay? And then press enter, it says this file name not found, okay? Now let me create a file. So I'm going to use a touch command for this. So touch, for example, I'm going to name my file as uh, test, for example. Okay, and then press enter, which is going to create this test file. And then I'm going to uh, run the script once again. And then I'm going to write the name of the file, which is uh, test, which I have created, and then press enter. And now it says, test found, which is the test file which I have created, okay? So this minus E flag is used to check whether the file exists or not, okay? Now there are some uh, other options also which we can use. 
so for example uh, to check whether the file uh, you know it, if it's a file or not you can just use a flag called f okay so e is for if the file exists or not f is the f is for the file exist and if it's a regular file or not okay so let's use f and let's run the script once again and once again we will uh, just say test and then press enter and it says uh, test found because we have created the regular file using the touch command right so f flag is for uh, checking whether file exists and if it's a regular file or not right now if you want to check for the directories you can use the flag d okay so let's uh, you know run the script once again and even if it's saying uh, you know enter the name of the file we are going to enter the name of the directory for example first of all uh, the directory name which doesn't exist so dir which doesn't exist on my uh, you know folder or directory and then press enter and it says dir not found and let's create our dir uh, directory for example so for this we will use mk dir command and then the name of the directory for example dir once again okay so this directory is created let's uh, verify so you can see this directory dir is created right so let's run the script once again and then once again give the name of the directory and then press enter and it says directory found so minus d flag is for checking whether the directory exists or not so it's for checking the directories now there are uh, some other flags which you can use for example there are two uh, types of file basically one is a block special file and other is a character special file so a character special file is a normal file which contains some uh, text or data or something like this a block special file is a binary file for example or a picture file or a video file it's a block special file so a file which contains normal text or a normal character it's a character special file and other files for example video files or uh, music files or uh, you know image files are block special files right so for block special file you can use the flag b and for character special file you can use the file c okay so for block special b and for character special the flag c now there is a flag uh, which checks whether the file is empty or not so for that you just need to use a flag called minus s and it checks whether our file is uh, empty or not so let's check so i'm going to run the script once again and then i'm going to give the name of the test file which we have created and then press enter and it says file not found and here we just need to write uh, for example file not empty and here we need to write file empty okay so once again let's run the test and we will give the uh, file name test which is empty and it says text empty right so we can verify this by using ls minus uh, l command for example and you can see our test file is of size zero you can see here right now for example uh, i will uh, uh, add some text to the file for example i will just use cat and then i will uh, use the cat uh, text to the test file right and then press enter and i will write something else and then i'm going to press enter and for exiting out of this cat command you use uh, control d and then once again let's do ls minus l and you can see now it has some data this test file has some data so let's run the script once again and use the file name and now it says test not empty right so minus s is for checking whether file is empty or not now there are some other flags also for example if you want to check whether your file has the read permission then you can uh, use uh, 
minus r flag if you want to uh, check whether your file has the right permission you use minus w and if you want to check whether your file has the execute permission then you can use the uh, x flag for this okay so these are some of the options which you can use to check for your file using if statement for example okay so i hope you've enjoyed this video please write comment subscribe and bye for now